Welcome to the Data Barracks Classroom. My name is George and today we're going to be talking about how Asegra works. Asegra has two parts to it. The first part is the DS system, which your service provider will have, and the second part is the DS client, which is on your side or the customer's site. Asegra is a agentless backup software that is cloud-orientated or cloud-based, meaning that the backup data is sent across the WAN link in an encrypted format. So you have one installation of the software, that goes out and scans the network, retrieves the data that requires backup, it compresses it, encrypts it, and then sends it over to the DS systems, which uh, then store it on secure storage. The DS systems can pick up on deduplication uh, and common file elimination, which means that you end up sending less data over the WAN link. The other advantage that the DS systems has is they have an autonomous healing process which means they're continually scanning for corrupt files or any file discrepancies that may exist with the actual backup data. On top of that, a Seagra automatically replicates from one DS system to the next. So therefore, you have two copies of your data held securely. There are three restore options available with a Seagra. The first restore option is to restore from the local cache copy that's held with the DS client. This is backup data that has already been sent to the DS systems, but a local cache or a first copy is also held with um, the local storage held with the DS client. This allows for fast restores of individual files uh, and you don't have to contact the DS systems to restore this information. So therefore, if your WAN connection has gone down, you may still be able to retrieve individual files. The second option you have available is the ability to restore files from the DS system via the DS client. The DS client sends a request to the DS system to collect certain files that you have requested for restore. The DS system then sends those files back across the WAN connection in an encrypted and compressed format. The DS client receives those files. It then decrypts them, uh, decompresses the files, and then restores the data back to the location that you have specified. The third option, which is most helpful when you have large amounts of data to restore, maybe hundreds of gigabytes or terabytes, would be to send a request to your service provider and they can write the information directly from the DS systems onto a disk and send that to you. You then mount that information onto the DS client and then you're able to restore hundreds of gigabytes uh, locally without having to um, use the WAN connection that might not be able to cope with the capacity.